Hi, I'm Marty Nimco. I want to talk with you about your legacy, even if you're quite young. You see, it really helps um, to consider the long view. It can help you set goals and shape the kind of human being you're trying to be. I want to start by offering a little composite uh, case study that's drawn from my clients, friends, and myself. It's illustrative. My grandfather just died. As I sat at the funeral, I remembered him telling me, in a blink of an eye, you go from a young person just starting out to an old fart. Live wisely, kid. I felt like a burden, thinking so loftily, so robustly. But while my grandpa's advice didn't dominate my thoughts, let alone my actions, every so often it popped into my head, especially when I was on the cusp of a big decision, career, relationship, ethical dilemma. Part of me wishes I didn't have to think yet about legacy, but my grandfather's words ever lurk. Maybe that's a good thing. Actually, I think it is a good thing. So, what do you want your legacy to be? You're going to want to go beyond the standard, I want to be remembered as a good person. Get specific. Well, here are 13 possibilities. You might jot down any that feel important to you. And I'll speak of it in the third person as though it was a she. She held high standards. Examples, meticulous, hiring only the best, discerning in everything bought, done, or associated with. She was compassionate. For example, usually opting for mercy over justice. Or the flip side of that, she was tough but fair. She was a worker. During work time, she worked while others slacked. She worked long hours. She knew how to have fun, finding humor in many things, leaving plenty of time for good times. She made a difference at work, in people's lives, and in charity. She was a generous and effective mentor. She was excellent in her favorite recreation or recreations. She was good with money, earning it, spending it wisely, investing it well. She was a loving spouse. She was a loving parent. She well balanced work, family, and fun. She was ethical, considering the impacts on all stakeholders. And finally, most important, other. What's important to you in your legacy? So now, in your own words, paraphrase the items you jotted down. Then write a shorthand version of it, maybe just a word or two. Maybe on an attractive note card. Keep it on your desk. Paraphrase the, the items on your list, to, um, probably right before you begin your work day, and again before you go to bed. Do it for a few days so your aspirational legacy is branded in your brain and therefore is more likely to inform your daily decisions. In any event, I thank you for watching. I'm Marty Nemco. I welcome your thumbs up and accept your thumbs down. I always look forward to your comments and especially like it if you hit the share button below. Share on your social media so that my efforts can have broader impact. And I am flattered if you choose to subscribe to my channel. In any event, I do thank you for watching. I am Marty Nemco.